Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, salutations, all of those wonderful things. Welcome to another episode of Walk with Elias. I'm your host, Elias J. Williams. And shout out to more or more for the inspiration for this video. I happened to be scrolling her Facebook feed and came across a meme that asked the question, does who you want, want you? And I think to get to the bottom of that, you have to reverse engineer that and ask, why wouldn't the person you want want you see relationships and who you attract are sometimes or more often than not a reflection of you so when you come from an unhealthy place you tend to attract or be attracted to people for unhealthy reasons most times people tend to project or seek what we don't value or see in ourselves and for the need for validation for example an unconfident guy seeks out confident attractive women in hopes that if he can get her, this will validate his confidence. It'll tell him that he has confidence, but confidence doesn't come from other people. It's just like maybe a woman that doesn't find herself attractive, but has a thing for attractive males that she's more likely to chase, not because she actually likes the males, but because she's hoping that they can validate her own attractiveness. The problem is like attracts like. So if you don't have confidence, why would someone that does have confidence find themselves attracted to you? Likewise, if you don't feel you're beautiful, why would someone that does feel that way about themselves be able to see in you what you can't see in self? So relationships are not necessarily a unbalanced prospect. Take a look at the yin yang symbol. Within the black, there's a small dot of white. Within the white, there's a small dot of black, which means that there will be qualities that you share. One quality may be more pronounced in one individual and less pronounced in the other, but they will share those same qualities. But when you have such a disparity between, again, confidence and no confidence, there's no way to connect. And a lot of times, People don't want us because we want them for something that has nothing to do with them as a person. And that's energy they can feel. You don't like that person because of who they are, what you have in common. You simply like that person because they would validate something for you. And when you approach someone with that energy, again, they can feel it. I love you today. I'll be here tomorrow.